Hey everyone, it's Matt here with Night Run Studio and welcome to another tower defense tutorial video. In our last video, we got things set up so that we could actually start to make our robot move around and he also has some gravity and interacts with the ground. However, at this point, he can just go right through other players and in fact, through the tower itself. So this time around, we're gonna add some health to our objects and make it so that when the robot hits them, he actually deals some damage. Let's get started. Now, first off, as you may have noticed in that last clip, there's an awkward thing where the robot kind of tumbles off into space. If that's an effect you don't want, you can fix that very easily by going into your rigid body, going down to constraints and just freezing the Z rotation. However, I kind of like the way it's happening. We can always change it later, so I'm just going to leave that unchecked for now. Now, in order for our tower to actually get some damage, it's going to need to detect when it collides with things. So I'll just turn my sky off here and we're going to click on the tower. Then I'm going to add a new component and we're going to add another collider. I like to use the box collider 2D here. At this point, you can edit the collider so that it fits the actual size of the tower. With that done, we can play test our game and you'll notice that the robot does in fact collide with the tower. Now at this moment, you might be asking why you didn't need a rigid body on the tower as I did tell you to put one on the robot. The reason for that is that in Unity, in order for collisions to be detected, one of the objects needs a rigid body, not both. And we don't want gravity affecting our tower. Now with that done, we can create our script to make some health happen. So let's go create C sharp script and we'll just call this one tower health. This one is a relatively simple script, and at the top here we'll just start with a couple variables. First we'll need a public integer, which will be our health, and then another public integer for max health. The reason we're keeping track of both of these is that we might later want to add a mechanic where you can repair the tower, in which case it will need to know its max health as well as its current health. Let's just initialize that to 50, though we can change it in Unity later since we made it public. At this point, let's head down to our start method. We just want to make sure that when the game starts, the health of the tower is set equal to its max health. The only thing remaining at this point is for the tower to actually check so that once it runs out of health, it destroys itself. For this, we'll head down to our update method. Later on, we might come up with a little bit more efficient way to do this, but let's keep it simple for now. So we're going to start with an if statement. And at this point, we just want to check to see if the tower's health is less than or equal to zero. We'll add our curly brackets at this point. Remember anything between these is what will actually happen when the health reaches the point of zero or less. And at that point, we're going to use a destroy function. Destroy has brackets after it. And then inside the brackets, we just say what we want to be destroyed. In this case, tower health will be on the tower game object. So if we just type game object, it knows to destroy the tower. Also as a side note, make sure to use a lowercase g here. Capitalization is important. We're not creating a variable here, we're just referring to a game object that already exists, so it doesn't need a capital. Now we can head back to Unity, click on our tower, and we're going to add a component. Here we'll type in tower health, and at this point we don't need to do anything because health will automatically set itself to full, and it looks like it's working. Now let's just see what happens if we get rid of the health. Perfect, it destroys the tower just like our code said it should. Now, of course, we will need to make it so the robot is the one dealing the damage. Now, in order to do that, as you probably guessed, we're going to need a new script. This time around, we'll call the script robot attack. And let's go ahead and add this onto our robot right off the bat. So we can click on the robot, go to add component, and let's go ahead and add robot attack. We can then right click and go to edit script to open that up. Now at this point, we're not going to need the start or update methods as there's not actually a whole lot going on in this one. Let's declare a public integer called damage, and we can initialize that to 25. So at this point, our tower will take two hits before it's destroyed. We then need to actually apply this damage. To do this, we're gonna use a new method, and this is an on collision method. If you type on C, you should get some suggestions here. We want on collision enter 2D, and you can hit enter to generate all that syntax. All this method does is it makes it so that if you hit a 2D collider, it will automatically fire whatever is between these two curly brackets. And at this point, it creates a keyword collision, which refers to the object that has hit the robot. So anytime the robot hits something, we can use the word collision now to refer to that object that's just been hit, in this case, our tower. So whenever our robot hits something, we want it to check to see if the collision, meaning the object it just hit, is actually the tower. We can do this by looking on the game object of the tower, and then we're gonna to check to see if it has a specific component. And in this case, we're looking for the tower health component. 
You do need to add brackets after this. We'll get into that a little more later on as sometimes you'll be putting information in those brackets, but for now, they just need to go there. We'll add our curly brackets so we can say what we want to happen if we do hit an object that has the health component. Now at this point, we want to actually talk to the Tower Health script. So we can cheat a little bit here. We've already written most of the code we need for this line. So we're just gonna copy everything but the if part of that previous statement. That way we are talking to the collision game object and specifically its tower health component. At this point, we just want to talk to its health variable. So we can type in health and then we're just gonna modify it. In this case, we're gonna put minus equals and we'll take away our damage. The minus equals just means that it will now be equal to itself minus our damage. We can now head back to Unity. You'll notice if we give some speed to our robot, he'll now move to the tower. He'll hit the tower, which isn't exactly what we want, but let's look at the tower. We can see that it did lose health. However, of course, there's the problem that our robot is now just endlessly running into the tower, not dealing damage or anything. Later on, we'll get a little more complex so he can multi-hit it. But for the moment, let's just send these robots on a self-destruct mission where they will deal their damage and then destroy themselves. To do that, we just need to add one line of code here and make sure that we put this line after they deal the damage. We don't want them to destroy themselves before they deal damage. And here we're just gonna use our destroy method. And then in the brackets, we're just gonna put game object because we want the robot to destroy itself after it's dealt its damage. Now back in play mode, let's give our robot a little bit of speed. He'll advance on the tower and you'll see that our tower health did in fact go down and the robot destroyed himself. Now as a little bit of a further test, I'm just gonna add in a few more robots here and head back to play mode. I'll also turn my sky on just cause it's pretty. Let's give our first robot some speed. Then we can click on a couple other robots and give them some speed as well. Now when the robots hit the tower, you'll notice the first robot finishes off the tower and the last one just continues off into space. All right, things are actually working pretty well. Clearly we've got some work to do and we'll get there. In fact, I want to get our defenders up and running so we can actually start to defend these towers. But we'll deal with that in a later video. Until next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.